Hi, it's Kerry. Today we've got some travel at the end of this video and here it is. I've got such an interesting box of toys today. Parasaurolophus was a hadrosaurid, part of a diverse family of Cretaceous dinosaurs known for their strangely shaped skulls and head adornments. And this one's quite attractive with all the red and blue colours on it. Today there is a mix of Jurassic World, dinosaurs, sea animals, wild animals, marine reptiles and prehistoric animals. Subscribe and thumbs up if you like animals. Triceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. It lived at the same time and was probably preyed upon by Tyrannosaurus. When threatened, Triceratops would charge into its enemy like a rhinoceros. Triceratops was quite fearsome to look at with its large bony frill, three horns and massive size. It's the best and biggest of all the Ceratopsians. Miragaya is a stegosaur from the late Jurassic period. It grew to about 20 feet long. You can see the plates along its back and the unusually long neck containing 17 vertebrae. It was a plant eater and lived in the woodlands using its long neck to graze. The skin was covered in osteoderms. These are little bony deposits forming scales, plates or other structures in the dermal layers of the skin. Therizinosaurus is a genus of very large theropod dinosaurs that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means reaping lizard, referring to its long claws. It had a small head with a beaked mouth and a long neck. The most distinctive feature of the animal was the presence of three gigantic claws on its front limbs. Each of the three digits of its hand bore these claws, which reached nearly a metre or 3.3 feet in length. Can you tell me, is there a Xenosaurus famous for its beak or its claws. The blue shark is one of the fastest fish in the sea with a sleek tapered body that is made for fast swimming and quick turns. The tail fin moves from side to side propelling the shark along. The blue shark has pointy serrated teeth so that it can grip slippery fish. Stegosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period there were 17 bony plates on its back and a heavily spiked tail for protection. The tail was a lethal weapon. The four spikes could be swung under the unprotected belly of a predator with deadly force. These tail spikes are also known as a thergomizer. It's the distinctive arrangement of four to ten spikes on the tails of stegosaurid dinosaurs. The Sally Lightfoot Crab. It feeds on algae, plant matter and dead animals. It is quick moving and agile. It's a hard crab to catch but not considered very edible by humans. It's used as bait by fishermen. Spinosaurus from Jurassic World. There's one thing I always notice about Spinosaurus. It's that even though its front legs were smaller than the back legs, they were a lot larger than most other theropods. It may have gone on all fours at times, and of course with recent evidence, it may have been a swimming hunter as well. The moray eel lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks coral on the ocean floor. It sits in there to ambush its prey. Even though it looks like a snake, it is a fish, not a reptile. They have an elongated body and a slightly flattened tail towards the end. Ankylosaurus, the prehistoric tank. This is my Jurassic World Ankylosaurus 
and you can see the original colour on the legs and underbody. I've painted the head and the body and the club tail. I really like the bright colours. The club like tail could swing with enough force to break the leg bones of most carnivores, including T Rex. Flipping an ankylosaurus over was about the only way to wound it. The Great White Shark. This is my Jaws model by Funko. Great White Sharks can be found in coastal surface waters in every major ocean. They can swim in water only three feet deep. White Sharks bare their teeth and roll their eyes back into their heads when they attack, putting the shark's jaw and teeth into the best attack position and at the same time protecting the shark's eyes from claws and barbs. Tyrannosaurus, my golden edition one. Tyrannosaurus was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. It was a ferocious predator with a thick heavy skull and jaws which had a powerful bite force capable of bone crushing action. Charlie the Velociraptor from Jurassic World Velociraptors lived during the late Cretaceous period. They were very fast running and they had very sharp curved teeth in a long flat snout. Velociraptor had three fingered clawed hands, long thin legs and four toed clawed feet. Its head was about 7 inches or 18 centimeters long. Intelligent Diadon was one of the most impressive mammals to have lived. It lived about 18 million years ago. It's also known as the Devil Pig or Terrible Pig and was a huge pig-like animal. This extinct giant hog had bony protrusions on its lower jaws and head. With giant blunt and blocky incisors, canines and massive teeth in general. The Tiger Shark they're common in tropical and subtropical waters throughout the world. They are second only to the great whites for attacking people and will also scavenge. These large blunt nose sharks have excellent eyesight and smell. Their powerful jaws have sharp, highly serrated teeth. The sperm whale is the world's largest toothed whale. And unlike the baleen whales, sperm whales are active predators eating large squid, large bony fish and even sharks. The teeth are conical shaped for catching prey. They have a large brain and the most powerful sonar which they use to help find their prey in the dark deep seas. This causes them to have a block shaped head making them easy to recognise. Brontotherium is also known as Megacerops. Its name means Thunder Beast. They look a bit like a rhinoceros and feed mainly on vegetation. It had a gigantic Y-shaped horn protruding from its head. This horn is thought to be made of bone. It may have been used for fighting or for attracting mates. The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea. It's about 40 feet or 12 meters long. It's a filter feeder. It feeds near the surface by filtering water through its massive jaws. Its favourite food is plankton. The whale shark's flattened head has a blunt snap above its mouth with short barbels protruding from the nostrils. Lyopleridon was a pliosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period. Have a look at those jaws and teeth. It was a mighty marine predator. It used its nose to smell distant prey underwater. 
headache, fish, sea reptiles, squid, ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, and smaller pliosaurs. It would come to the surface to breathe. Leatherback turtle. Turtles are reptiles that have a hard protective bony shell. The shell is streamlined to help with swimming. The largest turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. It can weigh over 900 kilos, which is 2,000 pounds. That would be a whopper. Pliosaurus was a carnivorous marine reptile. Mosasaurus was their greatest enemy. There would have been lots of fights and battles between those two. They breathed air through their nostrils on the upper front of their head by surfacing. It had quite a soft hide and very large teeth in very large jaws. The woolly mammoth stood about as tall as an Asian elephant. Its skull was also narrower than that of modern elephants. Its ears were smaller and its tail shorter. Both of these things were adaptions to the extremely cold weather. They had a full coat of fur consisting of long coarse exterior hair and a short dense layer underneath to keep warm. These clever adaptions helped them to conserve heat. Lions live in the savannah. When a lion smells something interesting, it will wrinkle its nose, retract its lips and clench its teeth, pulling a bit of a pained expression. This is known as the Fleeman response. Cats and ungulates such as horses do it as well. Spinosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It's quite a unique dinosaur. It had numerous pressure sensors in its snout that helped it sense the movement of prey in the water. It would lie in the water waiting for something to come along and quickly snap its jaws and plunge into the water with its prey. A Spinosaurus would defend itself using its long sharp teeth, powerful jaws and clawed limbs. It had a large head with long sharp non-serrated needle-like teeth in powerful crocodile-like jaws. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you're able to share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.